Hi guys, my name is Masasa Mbangeni and I'd like to welcome you to my kitchen. So my relationship with the kitchen is um, quite tumultuous to say the least because I'm just one of those women that don't enjoy cooking. I like um, stuff simple. If it can be made into a smoothie, puree, or ideally if I can avoid chewing, then that's the best for me. <laughs> I once discovered this amazing recipe on the New York Times of how to boil the perfect egg. And the secret is in the timing. You mustn't boil it for too long. And you must just leave it to chill after like five minutes. But shh, it's a secret. I am making eggs on toast with basil and chili flakes. This is a developing story, so stay tuned. I'm very good at following recipes. So you give me a recipe and I'll kill it. Wish me luck. Nice. Have I burnt a, a, a meal before? Does the sun rise in the east? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is the, the question rather should be, have all of my meals been edible? Um, no. Umrusho is the meal that my mother cooks that takes me back to childhood. There's something about that meal, umrusho, the love, the warmth, the care, Umrusha is usually cooked when it's winter and it's cold. Um, so I remember umrusha around that. I associate imisebenzi um, or, or traditional um, you know, gatherings in my family with umrusha mshope. So there's so many childhood memories that are associated with umrusha and my mom's umrusha is the best. And I can make that as long as I soak the samp and beans the night before. You see, I'm from the Eastern Cape, born and bred. So making pap is not a part of our conversation in the Eastern Cape. So it's when I came to Johannesburg and everyone was always obsessed about pap that I was just like, what is this obsession about pap? Um, so from the region that I was born and raised, we don't eat pap. So do I make pap? No. Why? When you can make umush. My partner is an, is an excellent cook. What's not allowed in the kitchen is him re-seasoning my food. But he has to re-season my food because I haven't tasted this as yet because I struggle to taste and cook and adjust seasoning. So my mom has always um, taught us to be very health conscious and as a nurse, you know, not putting too much salt in food, especially now as a result of the pandemic, being very conscious about how we prepared the food, keeping spaces clean. In order to open up the kitchen, I think it's important that parents, I mean, I'm not a parent, so I guess it's easy for me to say, but I think it's important to start getting children curious about being in the kitchen. Um, be it, you know, learning how to make cupcakes or... So I think from the ages of about four, like I know my nephew loves to help, he's six now, and he loves to help us cook. Um, as long as he's safe and someone is watching him, um, he won't necessarily be um, handling the stove, but maybe washing the veggies or washing the fruit um, or helping in that way and, and showing him that little boys and little girls can also have fun and joy in the kitchen. Because, um, you know, gender doesn't belong in the kitchen. Hungry tummies do. <gasps> I did it! Wow, wow, well, we were. And there you have it. Eggs pesto on toast.